Welcome to Freddy Teacher. In this video, we'll understand what are the different data types that a DART supports. For simple understanding, I have categorized the DART data types into two different categories. These are the single value types and multi value types. The single value types are basically the type that holds the single value. On the other hand, the type that allows you to hold multiple values or the collection of values, I say these are the multi value types. The numbers, string and booleans are actually the type that holds single value. On other hand, in Dart, list, set and maps allows you to hold the multiple type of values. In this video, I am restricting myself just for explaining the single value type using number, string and boolean. Numbers in Dart are basically represented using int and the double keyword. Integers are basically used to store the whole number values such as the value of age, the value of year, the value of day and so on. Integer actually stores the value that ranges from minus 2 raised to power 63 to plus 2 raised to power 63 minus 1. And on the web platform, integers are actually presented by the JavaScript number. It is actually a floating point value without a fractional part. Let's look at some example for creating a variable using number type. Double is used to present a fractional type of value that is a floating point values. For example, the values like a price or percentage of a particular student. Double supports 64 beta values which is specified by IEEE 754 standard. Let's look at some example to create the variable using double. Like C sharp and Java, Dart also supports a string. So string in Dart is actually an object of class string. So string represents YouTube 16 code characters. We can create a string in Dart by enclosing it inside a single quote or double quotes. Let's understand the normal string. The string that you enclose within a single quote or double quote is actually called a normal string. Let's look at this example. We have a string as enclosed within the single quote with the value hello. Or we can enclose a string within a double quote, just like welcome in a double quote. Let's look at the raw string. Basically, raw strings is a string that you want the Dart compiler should not interpret as a special string. That is, it should ignore all the escape sequence characters in the string and it has to be interpreted as it is given by the programmer. In order to understand raw string, let's jump into the Dart file. You can see, I have a string as with the value hello and slash nice. So here, if I run this program, just to print the value of string, you can see I'm getting the output hello and in the next line, I'm getting the eyes. You can observe I'm not getting nice, I'm actually getting the eyes here in the next line. The reason is I have written slash n here. So slash n is interpreted as a new line character. That's why this eyes is coming in the next line. But actually, I don't want this thing. So when I prefer my declaration with small r keyword here, and if I rerun the program, you can see the magic. In this case, I'm getting the result as it is as specified in the code. So this kind of string that specified using the small r later is called as a raw string, which compiler interprets as it is without considering it as a special string and it simply ignores all the escape sequence in a string. So you can also specify this one using the double quotes. And here we go. Dart also supposed to create multi-line string by specifying three single quotes or three double quotes. To understand this, again we have to visit Dart file. Whenever you have a multi-line of string which is to be stored inside your code, make sure that you should enclose that multi-line string either in a three single quote or in a three double quotes. Just like I have given here. You can see this string as contains a data which I have enclosed within three single quotes. And if I run it, you can see it gives me output. This is a multi-line string which is actually printed in multiple lines. Booleans are used to present boolean kind of value. That has given keyword called bool in order to create boolean type of variable. So boolean variable can either store the value true and false and make sure this true and false these are actually a compile time constant. Let's look at some example. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.